Hello my lovely viewers, how are you guys doing today? Uh, I'm stuck inside today, it's been really warm lately, but today it's snowing like freaking crazy. I've already got like three inches outside. It's bullshit, I hate snow, I hate living in the northeast, but hey, what are you gonna do? So today I'm gonna, I have another topic that's been on my mind, and uh, I definitely want to mention this because it's something that like a lot of people have been talking about in the gaming industry. Where is the, where's physical media gonna be? Physical media is definitely slowly but surely losing its market share to digital distribution. And there's a few reasons for that. One, optical media itself is kind of being phased out. Sure, you know, you can still buy Blu-rays, you can even still buy DVDs, which blows my mind. But notice how, like, when you go to buy a new computer, so many new computers don't offer disk drives, and that's because they're pretty much irrelevant. I mean, most people, if you're getting, if you're backing up stuff, they're going to be using an external hard drive or a flash drive, which both will vastly out, like, have more capacity than any sort of optical media you can get. Or, and if they're going to be getting video, they're usually going to be streaming or downloading from online. Digital distribution. So that's why discs on computers, at least, are being phased out. And on game consoles, it's not going to be, it's not too far behind. Uh, discs, there's a few problems with it. One, there's a limited stock, so people would have to go to stores to obviously get their games. If they're going to pre-order, they have to wait in front of the store if it's a well-anticipated game. Digital distribution has its own problems, but it doesn't have to worry about these problems. Uh, th there might be server slowdowns, or you might not have good enough internet service to download the game, but most people who are getting these new games have these have good enough internet service, and will have no problem just waiting for a download to finish and have the game ready at midnight rather than waiting for a physical copy. That's not the real problem with physical media, though. The real problem is that Blu-ray discs only hold so much. A dual-layer Blu-ray disc only holds 50 gigabytes, and there's games nowadays that are going beyond that storage capacity, which means that most of the game will be on the disc, but then not only will they have to download the rest of the game from online, which means you're downloading stuff anyways, but there's also oftentimes first-day updates, uh, f updates that have happened since the game came out if you didn't buy the game at launch. So those are problems that pop up if you have a disc copy. Now, how could physical media change to compensate for this? What I think is that the gaming industry should go back to cartridge-based media. Now, not like big, thick cartridges, but kind of like little game cards, like what the PS Vita and 3DS are using. Now, you can get a micro, S uh, yeah, micro SD card that holds 128 gigs of data for like 40 bucks. That's not that much. The price is going down, and honestly, no game takes up 128 gigs nowadays. Even a 64 gig card would be great. And those are even cheaper. Like, I've seen those for, like, 20 bucks. It's, it's, they're cheap. They also can hold a lot. Now, what would be the advantage of using these physical cards? Well, one, they can hold a lot more. Two, their read-write speed is astronomically faster. Three, there's no moving parts that can go wrong. I've had to replace disk drives in multiple game systems before. And four, you can actually modify the contents of that card. So imagine if, instead of the system relying on a huge amount of its own internal storage for games you buy physically, but imagine if the game cards themselves had some extra space on them for updates or for DLC or any sort of stuff you might want to get. So instead of having it being on your system, it would be on each card. That would make it easier to manage your stuff, it would make the stuff not take up so much space on a main hard drive that you might want to reserve for downloading games digitally. And you wouldn't lose all of your updates and DLC and stuff if you had a hard drive crash, or worse, if you had a hard drive crash and then the game maker, you know, like Nintendo or Sony, let's say they went out of business and they, their servers weren't up anymore. If you had a hard drive crash at that point, you're done. You lost all your stuff. At least on the carts, you have more than one source, so you're not going to lose all your stuff at that point. It's not as good as the good old days of having your game and knowing it'll be functional for many years, but times have changed, we got updates, we get downloadable content, we gotta deal with it nowadays. So what do you guys think? How do you think physical media should change? Because it's clear that people like to collect their physical copies of games, and like to like have feel like they own their product. So what do you guys think should be done to physical media? Do you think discs are fine? Do you think new discs format should come out? Or do you think we should switch to more of like a cartridge-based or flash-based media? Let me know what you think in the comments. If you like the video, hit the like button for me. Definitely helps me out. And if you like a lot of my videos, or if you really, really like this one, just hit the subscribe button. It also helps me out a lot too, and you can keep up to date with all of my ramblings.